Psamtik I, was the first of three kings of that name of the site, or 26th dynasty of Egypt. His prenomen, Wa Ibri, means constant, is the heart of Ri. Historical references for the Dodecaki and the rise of Psamtik I in power, establishing the Satic dynasty, are recorded in Herodotus's Histories, Book 2, 151-157. It is also known from cuneiform texts that twenty local princelings were appointed by Isa Haddon and confirmed by Ashurbanipal to govern Egypt. Necho I, the father of Psamtik by his queen Istanbet, was the chief of these kinglets, but they seem to have been quite unable to hold the Egyptians to the hated Assyrians against the more sympathetic Nubians. The labyrinth built by Amenemhat III of the 12th dynasty of Egypt is ascribed by Herodotus to the Dodecaki, or rule of twelve, which must represent this combination of rulers. Psamtik was the son of Necho I who died in 664 BCE when the Kushite king Tantamani tried unsuccessfully to seize control of Lower Egypt from the Assyrian Empire. After his father's death, Psamtik managed to both unite all of Egypt and free her from Assyrian control within the first ten years of his reign. Military Campaigns Samtik reunified Egypt in his ninth regnal year when he dispatched a powerful naval fleet in March 656 BCE to Thebes and compelled the existing gods, wife of Ammon at Thebes, Shepanupet II, to adopt his daughter Nitocrisi as her heiress in the so-called adoption stella. Samtik's victory destroyed the last vestiges of the Nubian 25th dynasty's control over Upper Egypt under Tantamani since Thebes now accepted his authority. Nitocris would hold her office for 70 years from 656 BCE until her death in 586 BCE. Thereafter, Samtik I campaigned vigorously against those local princes who opposed his reunification of Egypt. One of his victories over certain Libyan marauders is mentioned in a year 10 and year 11 stella from the Dakla oasis. Samtik I proved to be a great pharaoh by winning Egypt's independence from the Assyrian Empire and restored Egypt's prosperity through his long 54-year reign. The pharaoh proceeded to establish close relations with archaic Greece and also encouraged many Greek settlers to establish colonies in Egypt and serve in the Egyptian army. In particular, he settled some Greeks at Tarpanhes discovering the origin of language. The Greek historian Herodotus conveyed an anecdote about Samtik in the second volume of his histories. During his travel to Egypt, Herodotus heard that Samaticus sought to discover the origin of language by conducting an experiment with two children. Allegedly he gave two newborn babies to a shepherd, with the instructions that no one should speak to them but that the shepherd should feed and care for them while listening to determine their first words. The hypothesis was that the first word would be uttered in the root language of all people. When one of the children cried, Beta Epsilon Kappa Sigma, with outstretched arms, the shepherd concluded that the word was Phrygian because that was the sound of the Phrygian word for bread, thus. They concluded that the Phrygians were an older people than the Egyptians, and that Phrygian was the original language of men. There are no other extant sources to verify this story. Wives Samtik's chief wife was Mehitan Westcott, the daughter of Hazizah, the vizier of the northern high priests of Atom at Heliopolis. Samtik and Maiton Weshget were the parents of Necho II Merneth and the divine adoratious Nitocrisi. Samtik's father-in-law, the aforementioned Haziza, was married three times to Sheta, with whom he had a daughter named Nanefahiz to Tanini and, finally, to an unknown lady, by whom he had both Jedka, the vizier of the south and Mehitan Westcott. Hazizah was the son of Azir Harkhebi, and was related to two other Hazizas, both viziers, who were a part of the family of the famous mayor of Thebes Montumhat.